Hello guys, let me tell you a story. I were in class with another student. I asked them, what is your favorite sport? Some of them tell me, soccer. Another one tell me, football. The other one say, baseball. The next, basketball. And finally, tennis. And... I organize the information in a specific way. So, this is the way. We have soccer and five students choose soccer. The students that choose tennis were two. In football were 12. In baseball were 10. And in basketball were nine students. I have to organize this information in a specific way. So this way, the name is Tally Chart. So Tally Chart, we have the first column that is the label. So in this in this case, we have soccer, tennis, football, baseball, and ball. In the second column, we have Tally Mark. So. How many students choose soccer? Two, three, four, and five. These five, this tally mark is diagonal. We have to make in diagonal way. How many tennis? One, two. Now continue with football. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 12 students choose football, continue. How many baseball? One, two, three, four, five, diagonal, six, seven, eight, nine, diagonal, and 10. With the diagonal is 10. And how many basketball? One, two, three, four, five, diagonal, six, seven, eight, nine. So now the third column is the numbers we have to write the numbers that represent the tally marks so is this in the first for soccer we have five for tennis we have two for football we have 12 for baseball 10 and basketball nine so this is a tally chart we have three columns the in the first the label in the second one the tally marks and finally in the third one we have numbers so continue we have to represent in another way the other way is bar chart how can we represent with a bar chart so we have this axis with numbers and the other axis is with names or in this case with balls from the sports now we have to continue with bars for each one so in soccer we have one two, three, four, and five. Five students choose soccer. Now with tennis, one and two, two students. Now with football, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve students choose football. Now baseball, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 students choose baseball. Now, finally, with basketball. How many students? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. None students choose basketball. Uh, so, in this case, we have the different bars. We have bars for soccer, for tennis, football, baseball, and for basketball. So, continue with the next. So we have labels, we have the name, and we have the key. The key say each ball is one student. So let's start with soccer. With soccer, how many students? One, two, three, four, and five. Five students choose soccer. Now with tennis, one and two. With football, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 
9, 10, 11, and 12. Baseball. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And finally, for basketball, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 students. So that is the way to represent e picture lab. Okay guys, please like the video, write comments, and don't forget to subscribe and activate the ring for notifications. I wait for you in the next class. Bye bye.